Hello friends, this is Ultraviolet Morgan and I have a very exciting unboxing to do today. I'm going to try to be steady with the camera even though I'm very excited. So I did not expect this deck to come until next week and I went outside to check the mail and I was thinking to myself, I wasn't thinking about the mail at this time. I was walking, and there's trees and bushes and the wind and everything, all this nature-y stuff, because I live in a small town, so it's, you know, nature-ish here. And so I'm walking, and I thought to myself, I wish I could see fairies. And then I thought, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> And I was thinking of the labyrinth where the, the magic words were, I wish. So I thought, be careful, you know. So I decided, okay, I'm not going to say that out loud. I'm just, but I thought it in my head. And then I opened my mail. I got my mail out. I had a package. I had ordered some other cards too that I think I thought were coming sooner. So I wasn't didn't know what they were, but I come inside and unwrap them. And voila! Wish granted. <laughs> I can see fairies. Even though these are just the cards. I did think that I saw a fairy the other day at work step into a bush. That was interesting. So this deck, okay, pardon, you're going to see my feet, probably, because i got to use my feet to hold this box. This deck is on my wish list of my top 20 wanted decks. I, I considered buying a used deck. I have no issue with used decks. Um, I like, I'm ha very happy to support. Um, individuals who are reselling and to uh, contribute to a circular economy. I, I like the energy. Actually, some people don't like the energy of a used deck. I actually do like the idea of a deck that someone else has already used, that's been used. Um... And in the end, I just wanted to make sure everything was here. Um, so I decided to go with new because I wanted to make sure that I had the book and whatever should come with it. So here's the cover of the box. A very giant, large tuck box. Even though I hate tuck boxes, this one wasn't too difficult to get into. Bring the insight, wisdom, and joy of the fairies into your life. Using the enchanted art of Brian Froud as your guide, enter into the wise and wonderful world of the fairies. The fairies' oracle calls on siths, pans, gnomes, and of course fairies to lead you to a delightful journey, adventure, discovery, and enlightenment that will illuminate the future and heal the heart and soul. This beautifully designed divination set contains everything you need to explore this mysterious realm, including a complete deck of 66 radiant cards by Brian Froud, featuring goblins, moon dancers, pixies, boggarts, and other fairy folks we first met in Good Fairies, Bad Fairies. Now that's on my list, Good Fairies, Bad Fairies. That's the, a book by Brian Froud. And Brian Froud was the designer on the Dark Crystal and Labyrinth. And then just speaking of Labyrinth, for those who don't know, um, he's a veritable fairy expert in every way. A 208-page illustrated book with text by Jessica Macbeth, which will show you how to read the cards of the Fairy's Oracle with particular instructions on personally connecting to and communicating with the fairies. Um, da, 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 da. stuff about the author and the illustrator. 
And now, of course, everything that they have done, I want. It says, Jessica Macbeth is the author of Moon Over Water and Sun Over Mountain, Two Guides to Meditation Self-Discovery. So they're on my wish list. Uh, Dark Crystal and Labyrinth are on my wish list because I don't have them for some reason. And... Good Fairies, Bad Fairies, Lady Coddington's Press Fairy Book, and Fairies. But especially Good Fairies, Bad Fairies. O.M. Triple G. Do you see how thick this book is? Hardcover, which I knew. Oh my god. Ah, oh, It, oh... Look at that little guy. Oh. He's just kind of hiding. Look at that little guy. Oh my gosh. Oh. I mean, this book alone is worth what I paid for this deck. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what's inside. Like, just from the, just from the cover. And the thickness. Oh my goodness. First steps into the other world. I'm going to keep that to myself. If you want to know, you're going to have to get it yourself. You're probably thinking, let's see the cards. That's what I'd be thinking, but... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm like too excited to even look at the cards because it's just overwhelming. Like, no, like the books, like the cards are too awesome to look at. Like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So we got this plastic band, which is fantastic instead of a whole bunch of plastic. But this. A hundred percent totally reminds me of Labyrinth, okay? In the beginning where they're all gathered together and they're like, Say the, say the right words! Say the right words! Or say your right words. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Okay. I'm so like oh, okay. <sighs> I'm too excited. Like <laughs> I'm too excited to do this. Oh my gosh. Unity. Oh. I have no words. Oh <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of O's, I think. Oh. Oh. Okay. I guess I won't I won't try to say oh. <laughs> These are just energetic, gorgeous, energetic fairies. Oh my gosh. The guardian at the gate. It just feels so powerful. Oh my gosh. Oh. He of the fairy sword. These are better in person than what you see, just so you know. She of the... She has something. Okay, I don't know, but oh, wow. The singers of courage. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it like with my own eyes. And I'm looking at it through the deck. And there's definitely... Or through the deck. Through the phone. There's definitely some detail lost through the phone. The color, on the other hand, uh, this blue, looks possibly even more amazing through the phone. 
but it does look pretty amazing. Oh, I can see him. Wow. Okay, okay, these cards are these cards are on the thin side. I won't lie. I don't think I care. I like thick cardstock, but I don't think I care. I hope you can hear me because I'm like so in awe that I can't like my voice is just gone. Oh the singer of transfiguration. The singers of the ch of the chalice. Okay. Oh. Oh. She's probably the worst one, the meanest one. She's just so cute. <laughs> she looks so sweet and innocent, so it could be a trap. <laughs> oh. The journeyman. The journeyman. If you've watched some of my videos with my son, his name is Journey, and so he call him Journeyman sometimes. <laughs> Ooh. The Bright Mothers. Oh my, lots. Wow, there's lots of detail in there. I'm going to be seeing new things every time I look at that. Holy moly. Oh, hi. Okay, himself. Uh, might have a little crush on this card, okay? There's just something very compelling. Hmm. The Lady of the Harvest. Oh, this has got all kinds of detail going on, too. Oh, my gosh. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, the sage. Oh, I'm only on card 19. Oh, my gosh. So there's nudity. <laughs> Does not bother me. I don't know if it would bother anyone else, but wow, well, uh, it's a detail. Hmm. I couldn't tell you what that says. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh good, she's got some sass to her. The green woman. <laughs> nice. Little shades of Cali, maybe too. Holly, Kali, not Cali. Kalima. The Piper. The Fairy Godmother. Look at the owl. So much magic there. So much magic. <laughs> little gnome, a little gnome guy. Oh, mm -hmm. wow! A lot of wow, a lot of wow. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna scooch because there's more light over here. This deck is just wow. Okay, I'm sorry if there's. 15 minutes of me saying wow. But wow. Okay. Penelope Dreamweaver. <laughs> I had a teacher, an English teacher named Penelope. She was wonderful. She gave me some things when I moved out on my own. 
Interesting how this one's just almost black and white. This one's kind of blue and white, so there's some monochrome, and there's some with so much color. So many things going on at once. Un the undressing of a salad. Very, very strange. So many critters and creatures. This one here has the face reminds me of the uh, the creature the the people in the dark crystal that aren't people but the main characters. Oh my gosh. After I'm done with this, I'm just going to go, after, after, after I'm done filming this, I can't even talk, I'm just going to go and, and stare at these cards for eternity, so you may never hear from me again. No wonder people get lost in the fairy realm. Oh my gosh. These are so incredible. This one just makes me feel like I'm being looked at straight into my soul. Spirit dancer. Now, I am a Pisces, and I am a very, especially, you know, we're water signs. I'm drawn to water, so, yeah, I like that. Oh. The little sound there was as I discovered something else in the picture. You'll see one thing, and then you'll see something that you didn't even realize was there. Oh! Honesty. I don't know anybody out about anybody else, but I find this guy very cute. Very adorable. Not like cute like I'd want to date him, but cute. Cute. Another little cutie. Hmm. So you can see just all different types of fairies, just like it says on the back. Beautiful, slender, wispy fairies that look like moths or butterflies with light emanating from inside of them and little gnomish hairy wrinkly fairies and 
really strange, otherworldly looking fairies. And just straight, straight energy fairies. Oh, well, this one is like Tinkerbell to me. <laughs> this is the Tinkerbell fairy. This one definitely brings in that childhood magic. Not that they don't, they all do, but... Friends. <laughs> this little guy, sort I don't know why, because he doesn't really look like him. But this picture it reminds me of the brownies in Willow that were like, I stole a baby! I stole a baby from a stupid dakini! Ha 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 ha! I have said I used to say that all the time when I saw that movie. Mm -hmm. My favorite line ever. I stole the baby. Yes, the oak men. Wow, very serious, somber. Went from lots of different. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at these little alien guys. Well, I can hear some music. I can just hear music when I look at this card. Huh. Don't even have words. I don't have words. They're just so fabulous. I don't have words. Bucky. It's not his name, but... <laughs> he looks like a little troublemaker in the best possible way. Guess we'll see. Mm-hmm. Well, this guy sees some um, wisdom, curiosity, and wisdom. But, like, I, I, I get the feeling he's a uh, a little creature of few words, if any. And he knows a lot, but it doesn't necessarily mean he's going to tell you a lot. But he definitely has a lot of knowledge. Oh, is this the card? This is the card that's the same on the front and the back. I don't know why, but I just think that's so cool. It's big magic. The Chapsy Turvets. Uh, yep. <laughs> the simplest things just tickle my bones. As an aside, here's the box it came in. Uh, the cards. Oh, these are slippery right now. Cards came in there. Okay. Mm, not loving that as much, but I don't care. I've got the cards. I've got the book. Can I mean? Okay. I can't keep on track. But can we just look at this book again? Can we just look at this? Look at this book. Okay. I know, go back to the cards. Oh, okay, sorry. Da, 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 da. You watch these videos for personality or you don't watch them at all. Oh. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Mm hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Well, there's no mystery. That's death. Wow. I love that concept. 
I love that concept. Totally covered and shrouded. This is like kind of naughty looking. Like there's nudity all over, but <laughs> this one's especially. Well, Epona's wild daughter. I think I have Epona. Maybe on one of my other cards, one of my other decks. The Chrysalis Tarot. I believe I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Some of these remind me of uh, Spiderwick Chronicles too, which I don't think Brian Froud had anything to do with that one. Gluminous, gluminous loom. Mm -hmm. 